guys, Tia and Marks here. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. So today is a different, interesting little topic and rant that I want to talk about. And I want to talk about dating, I want to talk about jealousy, and I want to talk about should you be jealous about your partner if your partner does jujitsu and if you both do jujitsu should you be jealous on the mat and how do you feel about that because let's think of it jujitsu is a very contact sport and you are on top of someone now when you're super into the sport you actually don't think anything of it when you are grappling with someone and you're in really weird positions unless you look from it from a third person i've never seen the sport it does look weird when your girlfriend is sitting on another dude's face when she's trying to go for a reverse triangle or his arms is placed somewhere or he's mounting on top of her or he's in between her legs like if you don't know the sport it is an extremely weird and uncomfortable thing to look at now i recently started dating someone that does not jujitsu and usually pretty much everyone I have dated have always been jujitsu. I've met my longest boyfriend I've ever had for about three and a half years on the jujitsu mats when I first started as a white belt. Now, when I first started at jujitsu, there was no real jealousy because I started getting into the sport and I met him doing the sport. So we never really had that. Although I would be lying if I didn't say when there was a relatively attractive girl come to training and they were rolling, there were moments I would look over um, just out of like discomfort, like are they flirting? Is their position a little bit weird? Like it's hard to completely put that barrier up even though you know it's a sport, even though you know that what they're doing is because of the sport and there's nothing sexual or weird about it. There's still that little bit of uncomfortableness that you're just sitting there thinking like, are they flirting right now? Or he's on top of her. He better not think she smells good. Like he better not be liking the fact that, yeah, just, you know, Next level, girl jealousy things that happen inside our head. So that is completely normal and it does happen in jiu-jitsu as well. Now, so as I said, I am dating someone now that does not do jiu-jitsu. He's actually Brazilian, I know, and does not do jiu-jitsu and has never really watched the sports before. I've chosen the worst Brazilian in the world, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and does not even do his own sports. Apparently not a lot of Brazilians actually do it. Now, he doesn't do it. And when we first started dating, he said to me pretty openly, I do not want to watch you do jiu-jitsu. Now, I've been doing this sport for almost eight years, eight years in April, and I started when I was 20. So I'm 27, almost 28. So it's actually been a big part of my adult life. So for someone that you care about and someone you like that doesn't want to share such a big thing with you that's so important to you, I mean, come on. I mean, have you seen my YouTube? I talk about jiu-jitsu all the time. So for someone that doesn't want to share that or it just doesn't feel comfortable coming to watch me, it's a pretty big deal. Now, I've tried to kind of explain to him what it is or the contact thing you don't notice. So I've started doing, as I said, private um, at my own uh, gym for my fitness studio. I've started to bring in a trainer to me and I've been doing it on a mat there that I just bring in. So my last private session, I actually told uh, my new boyfriend to come and sit and watch. And I made him sit across the room and watch a whole hour of me and another dude rolling around on the mats. Most of it was technical. We weren't actually sparring. It was kind of just going breaking down my training and doing a couple of positional things. But I did make him sit there and watch me. So. I asked him how he felt and he said that uh, it, was, it was okay, it was fine. So he tried to ignore the fact that, that his girlfriend was over there on top of another guy. I know he's probably a little bit jealous, but most dudes are. So if your girlfriend does jiu so I do recommend, even if you're not going to get into the sport, give the sport a go for a couple of sessions just to kind of get an idea of what it feels like. So as you know that when you're sparring, when you're under pressure, when someone's on mat, when you're in a bad position, the last thing you're thinking about is something sexual. The last thing you're thinking about is if this person's attractive or if you're attracted to them. You're thinking about how to get out of something. You're thinking about fight or flight motion. That is the last thing from your mind. So if you're uncomfortable with the sport, I recommend giving it a go yourself so you kind of feel what they're feeling. Now as a female, if you have a boyfriend that does jiu-jitsu or if your girlfriend is a little bit jealous about you doing jiu-jitsu, I think it's a great couple thing to start getting into. I know so many of my friends now that have new girlfriends and stuff that are now starting to get onto the mat and give it a go for themselves. They'll soon find out that all the girls on the mat are actually extremely friendly. This is a male dominant sport and we do encourage so many females to start coming and training. So we love it when new girls come in onto the mat and train with us. And most people have their girlfriends and partners sitting on the side of the mat and watching their training. And um, that's probably a good way to go about it. Just so you can kind of 
see exactly what's going on and kind of take away any of that fear of the unknown in the back of your mind. So I need to say it is super common for people to fall in love on the mats. People do find partners on the mats because you have this awesome common interest and you're meeting people from other walks of life that you probably wouldn't have come across in the past. Now I'm not going to say there isn't those stories of people having affairs or people um, kind of breaking up with someone and dating someone they met on the map because that's going to happen in any social environment. You're going to meet people, meet someone that you connect with a bit better or that you have that little bit of attention with um, that you meet through just a sport or you meet through at a workplace. So you will come across those people you might have some level of sexual attention towards, you might find attractive, but you could do the exact same thing in a social group or the exact same thing in a work environment. You're just is not really going to change that just because you're on top of each other. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video. That was a bit of a rant about dating and jiu-jitsu. I have actually done a video a while ago, like a year or two ago, about dating on the mat and if you should. I am pro jiu-jitsu dating because I think it is a great way to meet people. I just found out uh, yesterday that there's actually a jiu-jitsu dating app for people that do jiu-jitsu. I'm in Australia, so it probably wouldn't work for me. I don't think there'll be many people in Australia on that app, particularly in Brisbane, but it's a pretty cool concept. So I do understand why people want to try and stay with people that do jujitsu because a lot of other people just don't understand why you want to roll around with random sweaty people and get all up on top of them. So thank you guys for so much for checking out my video. If you guys have an opinion on this, on how to deal with jealousy and dating someone that doesn't do jujitsu or someone that does do jujitsu, then let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, subscribe button, thumbs up. And keeping strong, happy, and healthy.